Hey everyone, good morning. Happy Friday, uh, August 13th, Friday the 13th. Um, I'm not a big superstitious Friday the 13th person. Uh, actually, I graduated on Friday the 13th um, back in 2016. And so, not real big superstitious person. Maybe you are, I don't know. But Friday the 13th, nonetheless. Um, but I believe it's going to be a great Friday the 13th. So, yesterday I did my first day as a teacher. Officially a Keys Cougar once again. Um, you know, grew up being a Keys Cougar. And now to be a Keys Cougar as a teacher is pretty exciting for me. Um, but first day as a teacher, it was awesome. Uh, you know, the first couple days first week is really just getting you know procedures down and that sort of thing even with your older kids so yesterday was a lot of you know going over the rules going over um, the stuff with the older kids such as like the internet policy and the handbook and dress code and all that stuff um, so that was yesterday but just really good day love getting to see the kids again um, especially those now seventh graders that I spent last year um, during my internship with so it's just it's awesome to come full circle with that group and get to be um, their intern and now get to be the teacher uh, it's just um, it was a great day um, luckily I subbed a lot in the middle school and did boys and girls club a lot in the middle school and so I know a lot of the eighth graders as well but I uh I joked with the eighth graders and told them I said don't be offended if I know the seventh graders names and not yours so I spent all last year with them I know them don't get offended whenever I can spout out their name and I don't know your name yet I said I will learn it it will take me some time a whole lot of you one of me um, also did senior sunrise yesterday morning that was awesome they had a really good turnout um, I was it was just I was just honored to be asked to go and speak to those seniors um, because that was me actually six years ago today was my senior sunset or senior sunrise sorry I keep getting those confused I'm wanting to rush them through senior year and I just told them to not wish away senior year but six years ago today was my senior sunrise um, right there on that same football field that I gave the talk yesterday to those seniors so really cool that once again was like a full circle thing for me uh, just super super cool super um, honored to get to have done that it was just it, yesterday was just a great day so today's title for August 13th is brag about God so he said to me my grace is all you need my power is strongest when you are weak so I am very happy to brag about how weak I am. Then Christ's power can rest on me. 2 Corinthians 12, 9. <clears throat> says, who would want to brag about being the slowest runner on a race team? Or the worst student? Or the least creative artist? So if you're not good at something, you obviously do not want to brag about it. You don't brag about it. Um, I am not the fastest runner. Never have been. Like, my nickname whenever I played softball from one of the coaches which I'm going to say this and it's not bad because it was my best friend's dad but he used to call me grandma um, and it's not that I don't try to run fast I, I just my body cannot do it for some reason and so um, obviously not going to brag about running unless I'm running against like a second grader um, it's not very often that we hear people being proud about what they're bad at we like to show off our skills so we like to brag about the stuff that we're good at obviously not the stuff that we're bad at so the bible thinks of bragging differently it says that we can brag about what we are not good at why would it say that when we are not very good at something we can see that god is great we can say wow there's no way i could have done that all by myself so even when we're not good at something so running for example i'm not good at running but god gave me the ability to be able to run he gave me two legs that work and even if i'm slow i'm still able to run so i can brag about it because god gave me the ability i might not be bragging about the fact that i'm running like because i'm not fast 
but I can brag about the fact that God gave me the ability to run regardless of how fast I am regardless of if I am you know the first person or the last person I can brag about the fact that God gave me the ability to do that our prayer says God shine through the things that I'm not good at so I know that you are with me and I can show others how much you care for them so something whatever it is that you're not good at whatever comes to your mind whenever you whenever I say what's something you're not good at Think about how you can glorify God through that. How you can brag about Him. You know, I'm not a good artist either. I do not draw well. But I can do stick guys, stick people, and I can brag about the fact that, you know, at least I can draw that. God gave me the ability to draw that. Whatever it is that you're not good at, God can still be glorified through it. He gave you the ability to do whatever it is, even if you're not good at it. So therefore, you can still brag but instead of bragging about yourself, you're bragging about God. So I have a great Friday, everyone. Friday the 13th. I believe it's going to be a great Friday. Go out, have a great day. Have a great weekend. And remember to be the example.